Casper Beamish Wooden Railway, Episode 72, Peter Sam the Blind Burner. The Fat Controller had recently gone to court to figure out how to be a um, about how to be a better controller. Meanwhile, a new controller came to manage the the narrow gauge railway while the fat control was at court and unfortunately he wasn't a very nice one. One day Thomas puffed into the into the depot. He saw Peter Sam resting in a shed. Hi Peter Sam Thomas what's up? Uh, the fat control has gone to court about how to control two railways uh and and there's this new controller controlling it until the fat controller returns. Uh, and he said that this, that our railway's too tiny to be really useful. Oh, said Thomas, that isn't good. Uh, I sure hope he returns soon. I do too, said Peter Sam. Oh dear, here he comes. And Peter Sam was right. The new controller walked down. Both of them could tell that he wasn't in a good mood at all. right oh, let's get started, said the controller. You there, um, Sam Peter. Peter Sam was cross at, um, at the new controller about the incorrect name. Actually, it's Peter Sam. Ah, okay, said, okay, said the new controller. Peter Sam. Oh, got it. Well, I need you to take this, these trucks of blinds all the way over to the wharf because that crane's driver over there has been complaining that the sun gets too bright in his eyes. So I've arranged to put blinds in his cab. Will you go and take them? Oh, no, I won't, said Peter Sam. I, we only take orders from the fat controller, right, Thomas? Yes, we do, said Thomas. Well, I'll scrap you if you don't do it. Peter Sam realised that he had no choice. The controller hopped onto a different track and Peter Sam went and coupled up to the trucks. And sped off. Good luck, Peter Sam, said Thomas. Oh, I hope so. These cables are very heavy. And you, he said, I need you to meet Peter Sam there. And with that, the controller walked away. Ugh. Well, 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 get it. He's going to scrap me as well. Ugh. Peter Sam soon reached the wharf. He wasn't good to talk with Colin. Hi, Colin. I've brought the blinds for your cab. What blinds? Said Colin. You know, your, dri your driver has been has has been complaining that the light is shining through your windows too much and it hurts his eyes. A driver doesn't complain about that. What do you mean? Just then, Thomas puffed in. Yeah, yeah, I remembered it too. Colin, why isn't your driver complaining? Then, Peter Sam realised something. The new controller, Thomas. He tricked us. And Peter Sam, and, and Peter Sam left the blinds on the wharf line. He saw the new controller by the water mill. New controller, explain yourself at once. No, I won't. And be careful. Duncan has broken down. Ugh, I bet it's another one of your tricks, said Peter Sam. And he puffed away. But unfortunately, the new controller was actually right about that. Duncan had broken down on the T-switch. But Peter Sam didn't know. But when he did, it was already too late. Look out, said Peter Sam. I can't, said Duncan. I, I've i broken down. Watch out, watch out. But it was too late. Peter Sam.
Sam smacked into Duncan and, 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 and his baggage car rolled onto the line. Oh no, said Peter Sam. I'll try and pull you back. But Duncan was very heavy and Peter Sam wasn't strong enough. Just then they heard a whistle. It was Thomas's whistle. He was coming over the truck. Watch out, he said. I'm going to crash into your baggage car. Peter Sam knew what he had to do. He quickly biffed Duncan off the line and sent him rolling down off, off, off all the lines. Thomas came rolling down. Amazingly, he stopped just before he sped past Knapburn Station. Unbelievable, said Peter Sam. Yeah, said Duncan. Unbelievable. Oh, well, said Peter Sam. What a day this has been. Uh, I'm pretty sure all the days that we'll have the new controller will, will be like this. When the new controller found out that Peter Sam had pushed Duncan off the rails, he was furious. Go back to your shed in disgrace, said the new controller. I'm, I'm not putting you to work for the rest of the day. Be comfortable sitting in that freezing shed. Oh, no, said Peter Sam. This wasn't going to be good at all. The new controller was bound to do stuff like this for, for, for the rest of the time that he was on the narrow gauge railway.